talk about copy, cloning, and copy2. Now we know that String Builder is going to be a lot better for copying and working with our strings because the string type is immutable and it's a reference type and it's going to create a new object whenever it needs to actually create or copy or concatenate your strings together because it's immutable, you can't change it, so it has to create a new copy for that. So for efficiency's sake, Stream Builder is really, really fast, extremely fast. But we can continue just to show you how you can actually work with cloning, copying, and copy two. Now cloning is going to create an object that's based on your string. So you would specify an object, give a variable name to that, and then you're going to do s.clone to actually clone this string into an object. So then we're going to actually be able to change this object actually, just like that. And then when we write it out, we're going to write it out, we're going to use the dot to string to specify that as the output, because that's going to be available from the dot notation, because we're dealing with an object. Now, then we're going to output our old string to see that it's still going to be what it is. So we're making a copy, but we're also cloning it into an object. So we're not actually referencing the same data area because we can actually see that the first string is still intact, but we're creating a reference to a new copy, a clone of this particular object of the string. So we'll take a peek at that. And then you see that after the clone copy, copy two strings set up, S2 has been set to exclamation. S1 is still what it used to be. And now let's see how the other ones work as well. So we're creating a reference though. We're creating an object and a reference to data. Now the copy here, this is going to create a copy of our string into another string. So S3 is our new string and then we're just going to string.copy and then the name of the variable, the string that we want to copy. So this is another way to do that, to copy. And if we want to copy two, what we're doing is we're copying two an array of chars, as you can see here. We're creating chars, an array of three chars in this format, and then we're doing the s.copy2, because that's available from the actual string variable there. Zero would be the start of our index. Chars would be the character string, the character array that we want to actually copy to, and where we're going to copy this into R character array. So this is going to be where we're going to start within our chars, and this is the length. The number of characters we're going to put into this array of characters. So different ways you could work with continuing to work with your strings. It's really robust. There's a lot of ways you can actually work, and working within objects and strings and back and forth and dealing with the references, it's pretty much up to you how you want to deal with things. String Builder, again, is going to be the fastest way to process your strings and it's going to be extremely efficient. So it's been added for you and it's optimized and it works really, really nicely. So I would suggest you work a lot with the String Builder.